welcome all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily Culture. My name is Maria Konjelska and we're discussing everything connected to modern art. With us is Agnieszka Kolek, the curator of the museum, the Center for Contemporary Art in Ujazowski Castle in Warsaw. We have this beautiful castle behind us as well, so we of course, strongly invite all the viewers to watch it and see it. And accept all, I would say, normal exhibitions, which you have currently on display in the museum. You have a, a special project connected, to, which is called Audio Theater. Um, so something connected to theater and audio. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the details. How can we participate in it? So um, it's an experimental project. Uh, actually, it's an idea of Thomas Mann. Um, it's his theater play project. And um, it's it's a meeting of um, a theater play that would be traditional, so taking um, at its core the biblical story, the Genesis, and then moving through, through the Old Testament. But then it's not only using techniques like with uh, an audio theater play that might have been shown on radio, but then using even the newest techniques of recording the sound, uh, also of just ordinary object being moved or used. Um, and the viewers that are able to come and join um, during the, the, the show, they can watch actually this happening in real life. So um, at the moment we had two parts being uh, shown and each one takes um, weeks uh, to be prepared and then the viewers can come and participate in this final um, result, uh, observing how the sounds are being made and the actors are, are using the, the everyday objects, the, the, the maybe an instrument, their voice. But then there is a recording. And with time, there is a plan to then make this available within the grounds of the, of the castle. So um, there are different layers to, to, to the actual experiment um, being um, played. Wow. So it's a form of a show. Uh, pl playing with the audio, as I can say. So the viewers are on the, um, so, so basically they they are they are watching the. the yeah. So they are sitting in the audience, and in front of them, this audio theater is taking place, and it's being recorded. So then this recording is going to be again used for the viewers, for the audience, but then as a recording. And here they can actually take part listening but also watching how this sound is being created ah, I it's see. fascinating so the, how the sound uh, can be created as a different forms of sound and it's quite dramatic actually because um um it's a very dark room there's only a little bit of light towards the actors that are actually um creating this experiment together so um even just observing it's really fascinating and so you mentioned that the topic is biblical, actually. So you take the Genesis and you tell the stories from the from the Bible, uh, with only using the sounds. Yes. Yes. So uh, and and some some words or short phrases, but the stress is put on the sound of what's happening. And um, it's called God and Dust. And um, the first part was about how man was being expelled from paradise. Then the second part focused on how as humans, we want to somehow get into a relationship with God and, and, and um, we might think that he wants a sacrifice of blood from us, but actually that's not really what's needed. So it looks at all these themes and, and, and reworks them through this um, experimental form, but then also going back to some questions that might be um, archetypical, might, might resonate with us for centuries. So a very traditional topic, I would say, of things which we uh, most of us know from the Bible or from uh, at least had some kind of connection to, but uh, showed in a totally different way by, uh, by sound. Yes, and I think maybe um, it, that just came to my mind now. There is this element that you might be familiar with certain things and take them for granted and never question them or never relate them to your own life. And I think through art form, we have this possibility of actually shaking us up and then asking these basic questions again. What is my relationship 
with a higher truth. What is my relationship to another human being? Uh, would I sacrifice them for the greater good or maybe it's not a good idea? So I think it's really important to keep ourselves uh, asking these questions and being open to these new forms of looking at things. Well, I would say that Genesis and the Bible is uh, actually fascinating. And I myself started reading it um, like verse by verse, founding out so many I would say crazy stories, which I kind of knew them and censored a little bit. But um, I like lots of things which are there are, are hard to comprehend for a modern uh, living person, but still very interesting. So it might be needed to be a fascinating project when you take it only the audio. I think the, the, the issue with the Bible is that it could be read on different layers, through different layers, and it could be this lens where you look at facts and history and then it would be hard to really relate to or you could look at the layers where it's more about symbolism and also about how a human being goes through different trials in life and has got different questions and things to deal with and I think it's something that is very relevant now and we see it with uh, when Jordan Peterson created a series of lectures focused on certain stories from the Bible how high was the popularity online for people to listen to them, where I don't think majority of these people were really religious, but they were resonating with these issues that every human being goes through in life, whether it's grief or whether it's difficult choices and, and, and you face this on your own. And here you have something you can refer to and have a different point of view. Well, I absolutely agree. And this is, of course, what we invite all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily, so the audio theater in the Center for Contemporary Art, uh, which uh, takes the, the topic of Genesis and the Bible stories in a totally different way, but absolutely fascinating. So take part in the, the next one, which is coming. And again, thank you for watching our show.